There's our forge. Now let's put some iron in there and clay. Get a bunch of fuel loaded up in there. Fire it up. And then we're good to go. What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to New Frontier. It is the morning of day four. I've got four skill points to spend. Let's go ahead and put one in healing factor. One into pain tolerance, and then we'll use the other two to level up agility again. All right, well, as you can tell, we are going to live here at the Slip It In because, well, I was wrong in the last episode about the land claim blocks. Apparently, you can use more than one. I think this update happened in Alpha 20. You can use up to three now. You can have three active all at the same time. It worked in vanilla, and it works in this mod. I tested both, so that's good, and that's going to help out. Anyway, we got our forge down. Uh, I could not craft the water collector because I don't have enough tree resin. You need 100 tree resin. I've only got 82. So we need to get more tree resin today. And the only two ways of getting it that I'm aware of is by looting it or chopping trees down. You can't craft the stuff. Now, you don't get much from chopping trees down. So we got to find it in some loot. And I got to imagine we can find a bunch of it over here at the lumber mill let's take care of skinny pete real quick uh you know something i noticed about the lumber mill i thought it was a completely new poi uh, for this mod i mean it kind of is but really what it is is two existing pois from vanilla connected to each other you got the lumber mill of course and that cabin which i am familiar with so because i'm familiar with both of the pois i don't think it will be that bad I mean, God knows how many zombies they loaded up inside of it, but we're going to find out. But I do like the idea of combining two lower tier POIs into one to make a higher tier POI. It's a creative way to make new POIs. It doesn't require that much work. I mean, obviously work was put into this, just not as much as if you created something from scratch, you know? Uh, there was a deer over here. Did it wander inside? Yep, there it is. Where are you going to go? You're trapped in here. You can't run. Just give in. Well, you can't knock it for continuing to fight to survive. That's what I'd do. Hmm, down she goes. Yeah, this is going to be pretty sweet. We'll see how long it takes us. If it doesn't take us as long as I think it will, uh, then we'll head over to Rex when we're done and take a tier one job for him. That'll be out in the desert, I'm sure. So it's going to be a little bit harder than the tier ones we were doing for Hugh, but that's fine. Let's start with this garage here. Then it looks like we get to the lumber mill by the way of the rooftop. Got a crack -a book crate in here. Oop. Morning. Oh, nothing like the sound of a ladle hitting skull in the morning. A couple of bones. Let's pop this bad boy open. Machine Gunner book, we already read. And another Knife Guy book. And it looks like that's it for in here. Now, that is where we normally start this cabin, through those doors here. But there's quite a big yard. And since it looks like we get to the lumber yard from up there, maybe we should do the yard first. There's a crate. And I don't know what that is, but I'd like to check it out. Oh, we got a sleeping dog right there. That's the only one I see. Don't really have a place to run to. Ah, fuck it. Let's just shoot it, see what happens. <laughs> it woke up. Surprise, surprise. Oh, shit. There are more. Oh, boy. Uh, let's cut through here. Get up. Up, 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 up. Oh, damn it. Really? Come on. Fuck you. Die. I got some zombies. There was another dog. I saw at least two of them running at me. Oh, here it comes. Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. Oh, we need better guns. A uh, bottle of acid. Let's chop this tree down. Use the wood, and we'll get a little bit of that resin. 
Two pieces of tree resin from chopping down a fully grown tree. That is not a viable way to get that shit. So you're telling me the only way we can get tree resin is through looting it? There's got to be a better way. Press E to pick up chicken coop house. Use two chicks. Well, we got a chicken coop. Where do we get the chicks from? Traders, maybe? Or do you just find them out in the wild? All right, not much else over here. Let's get started. All right. Nothing crazy. Close that door. Coffee maker, even though it's a coffee grinder. Probably only going to find coffee grinds in there. I don't think we're going to find a full cup of coffee in there. But I'll check every single time anyway. There's a zombie. Take him out. Let's see if there's another one. Yep. All right. Get my arrows back. That door's locked. Murky water. Couple of bones. Oh, I can search this one. Lead. And a nice looking stove that we can use. Can I pick this up? I don't have a wrench, but what if I just destroy it with my axe? There it is. Look at that. We got a nice stove we can put down now. Oh, the slip it in is going to be looking mighty proper when we're done with it. We're going to have to rename it to something more fancy, like the, the place it in. Place it, the place it inside in. <laughs> I mean, the slip it in is already kind of proper, right? Be one thing if it was named like the Cram It In or some shit like that. Oh, took his head off. Hey, stripper, check this out. This is called a ladle. You can find it in the kitchen. You ever been to the kitchen, you ratchet ass biatch? Oh, shit. No, wait. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was in the middle of reloading. Damn, I forget to reload, I get screwed over. I reload right away, I get screwed over. Forged ahead book and a cooking book. Food and drink. I'll eat that food now. Another piano. Which I believe you can pick these up too, but like I said in the last episode, I don't know if the music they play is copyrighted, so I'm just not going to fuck with them. Medical book. I'll use the aloe cream now and take the other stuff. More lead. Take the cooking pot and scrap it for the iron. Well, so far, this POI hasn't been any more difficult than uh, the old standard one. Got zombies around, not a big deal. The lumber mill uh, is a higher tier POI, even when it's just by itself, you know, so that's going to be a little more challenging, I imagine. In terms of zombies, yeah, there might be a few more here than there usually was inside this cabin, but nothing we can't deal with. Even with these shitty weapons. Okay. Got a desk here and an open window. I guess that's the way we go. Overalls. Uh, you know what? Those actually replace your pants. And we're wearing plant fiber pants. So take the mod out of there. Uh, just toss those on the ground. Put this pocket mod in the overalls. And shablammo. Now we're wearing overalls. We look a little more of the times, I guess. Were overalls around in the Old West? I don't know. Plant fiber pants probably more so uh, fit the time, but I'm not wearing those pieces of shits. Whoop. We got a bird. All right, let's give it the old 12-gauge treatment. Mm, blammo. Bitch. Here's another one. Now, this was usually the loot room. I do see a crate in there, but it can't be the main stash because we got the lumber mill, which this is attached to. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, here, take these with you, bitch. We skipped the room here. 
Pick that up. Take those uh, armor parts. We'll sell them. Arrows. Oh, anvil for the forge. Now we don't have to craft one of those right away. That's nice. This is the room we skipped. Got a couple jokers inside. Wake up, fuckers. Here. I got an idea. Catch a ladle, Bill and Ted. Ah, uh, BDU shirt. Now, that, uh... It's better for cold resist, but not as good for heat resist as the t-shirt I'm wearing. So, I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. We'll need it when uh, we go into the snow biome. I'll scrap both of those things. Seed crafting and spear crafting. Neither of which I give two shits about. Let's see what we got here. Motherfu- On to the lumber mill now. Oh, waking zombies up. I think they're down below, though. So that's not a big deal. Take the wood. And it is just about 10 in the morning, so I, I think we're making pretty good time. If we can get out of here by hour 14, let's say... Then I think that'll leave us enough time to get over to Rex and do a tier one job for him. Otherwise, there's some things in the immediate area that we can go check out. There's a... Uh, there's a dock. A little dock POI that's close by. There's another boat in the water. And there's a rundown bridge that I want to go check out. That might actually be the better move. Accumulate a bit more loot and stuff to sell and then go see Rex in the morning. Rifle ammo and more zombies. I don't like being in this little room. Let's just grab this crate and get the hell out of here. Oh, beaker, medical books, sewing kit, and paper. All right. Uh, we can go either way. Sounds like zombies are right in there. Okay. Nitrate powder. Cooking pot, I'll take that. Scrap it for the iron. Our inventory is starting to load up. We may have to stop home and drop some shit off so we don't get encumbered. Nothing there. Hey, there's some tree resin, finally. Ooh, another bottle of uh, sour saparilla. That's like a speed stamina boost. Basically a mega crush. More food. Beer. I'm gonna sell the beer. There's another stove. I'm sure we can pick that up, but... How many stoves do we need, you know? Fuck. Yeah, we got a good amount of zombies out here, but nothing too crazy. Makes me think we shouldn't have a problem doing that ship. Because that's a tier 5 also, but... Then again, I could be completely wrong. That ship, it seems like we're going to be confined to small areas inside that ship. So it could get pretty fucking dangerous. Um, so I'm probably going to wait until we get some better weapons to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some shit off. There's the horse, which uh, everybody wants me to name Cornmeal, but I don't think I can do that. For one, why would I do that? We hate Cornmeal. I'm not going to name my beloved horse that. And if I did name it Cornmeal, then we'd have to take all the Cornmeal we found and put it in its inventory. And that would drive me fucking insane. So I'm not going to do that. I was thinking Rubaboo, because that's funny, and I like saying that word. But probably just going to name him Motherfucker, because that's funny. Because then we can say, come on, motherfucker, or let's go, motherfucker, or giddy up, motherfucker, you know? I like that. And plus, when I find cornmeal, I say motherfucker, so it's kind of like naming them cornmeal in a way. Got an ammo pile and some trash in here. Brass and lead. 
Bullet casings and buckshot. He dead. I'm just like waiting for a ton of zombies to pile out on me, but so far it's been pretty tame. Handyman magazine and some lockpicks. That's good. Could use those. I imagine the loot is going to have something that's locked up. Now we have a chance of getting in there. And if we can get in without breaking too many lockpicks, we've got other safes that we've marked on the map as well that we can go back and get. More tree resin. That should be all we need to craft the water collector. At both times we've found it, it was in medical supplies, so maybe we gotta raid like a poppin' pills to find a bunch of that shit. What are you going up there, lady, trying to get the high ground on me? Whoops. Yeah, there's more resin. On a shelf. That you might find in, like, a tool store, so maybe, uh... Working stiff tools might yield us some more resin, and there's some more resin in, again, medical supplies. So those seem to be the two places we can find that shit the most, frequently, anyway. All right, let's get up here. Getting close to being done, and we're at hour 13. I don't think we're going to be going to see Wreck today. It's probably the safer bet to put him off until tomorrow. Hey, lady, you know what rhymes with dreidel? Now you do. Now the forged ahead book. Oh, there's the workbench. How do you like that? That's pretty sweet. Oh, and a nice shovel and some more tree resin. Get rid of this stone shovel. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to craft a workbench tonight. The problem is probably going to be mechanical parts. We'll double check when we get home and we get all our shit together, but that's probably going to be what prevents us from being able to craft one tonight. It's hard to get mechanical parts when you don't have a wrench. Uh, fuck that. Alright, that's where the loot is. Uh, let's go out the window. Oh, quest completed. 100 infected settlers. Now we gotta kill 250. We'll get that done eventually. I've killed more than 100 settlers at this point. It's because the original quest, I think, was to kill 25, and we did that, and then it resets, and you gotta kill 50 starting from zero, and then you gotta kill 100 starting from zero, and now we gotta kill 250 starting from zero, and Mo was lucky number one. This is the loot room. Is that lady attacking the loot? Uh, I'm just jumping down. There's only two of them. Tree sap in a poppin' pills crate. That's all the confirmation I need. I don't know what else we're gonna need tree sap for. But like I said, you can't craft the stuff. So if we need it for a bunch of other shit, then we gotta find it. Because, like I also said, chopping trees down is not a viable way to get the stuff. Now the rifle book, level 6 bone knife. Oh, we can craft a level 3 pipe rifle now. Maybe we should do that tonight. Start using some of this rifle ammo. It's probably a better secondary weapon than the shotgun. I mean, they're both just one shot and reload, but the rifle definitely hits harder from a distance. Oh, there's one of those uh, obsidian hunting knives. It's level one, but it's probably better than a bone knife, so I'll get that repaired tonight. We'll take a look at the stats. And a level one hunting rifle, which is probably better than the level three pipe rifle. So, take a look at all that shit tonight. Some more murky water. There should be some crates in here. Yep. And no zombies, I guess. What is that? Connection parts. Okay. We'll figure out what those are at some point. Now the forged ahead book. Oh, we can craft lock picks now. Beautiful. Pretty sure we need to do that in the workbench, though. 
Let's take this off of the hut. Well, I would have liked that to do a little more. Ow! Ow! Fucking lumberjacks. Oh, man, I'm backing myself into a corner here. Holy shit. Got an abrasion. Oh, my God, I'm gonna get killed by lumberjacks. What the fuck? Yeah, let's go around him. Oh, boy. This is why I need better weapons. Jeez, what a fiasco with these fuckers. Uh, I guess we should use another bandage, right? Oh, another Sassaparilla. Or Sassafrasarilla, whatever the fuck that thing is, a.k.a. Mega Crush. Look at this. There's some good ammo here. Tell you what. I mean, there better be, considering it was basically two POIs, right? Nice. Oh, another vehicle book, and what the hell is that? Wild West Scrap Spitter? Oh shit, it's a junkie! It's a shooting junkie! Oh, dude. That is really gonna help. What, um... What do we need to craft ammo for this thing? Uh, there we go. Wild West Scrap Spitter Ammo. Kerosene? Oh, shit. I mean, only one kerosene and three iron per round. That's expensive. I gotta use gas for ammo? Shit. Well, at least we're only a hop, skip, and a jump away from the desert, so that's not too bad. Eventually, I guess we're gonna have to move there. All right, motherfucker, skedaddle. Motherfucker's a good name for the horse, I think. And if it's too early on in the video, we could just call him MF, so we don't risk getting demonetized. <laughs> uh, can I search this wagon? Nope. We take it apart once we get our hands on a wrench. That's like what I need the most right now, I think, other than better weapons. Let's see what we can find here. Rotten flesh? Nah. Nope. I guess that's about it on the boat. Handyman book and some kerosene, which has become much more valuable now that I realize we need it for junkie ammo. Anyone in here? Oh, yep. Nice! <laughs> Smoke that dude. Oh, you motherfuckers got ladled out. Laid, knocked the ladled out. You got ladled, well, whatever. Explosives book, forged ahead, medical book. And we got four skill points to spend. Another forged ahead book and a knife guy book. We're doing pretty damn good on forged ahead books, tell you what. Also, I noticed, I didn't say anything, but Wrecked had a crucible when we went and saw him already. Now, it was like 14,000 coins, so obviously we couldn't afford it. But, kind of interesting that he already had himself a Motherfuck! Handgun book. Oh, pipe revolver quality four. Maybe it's about time. Whoops. Maybe it's about time we make a new pipe revolver. Nice. Three times a charm, baby. Damn it. Another cooking book. Pumpkin cheesecake. Ooh, puffer coat. That's going to come in handy. Man, I can't wait to check out that river boat. Maybe in the next episode. We'll see. It's kind of waiting until I got better weapons to go check that out because we're stuck on a boat with probably a shit ton of zombies. I don't see a way over there, though, other than swimming, and I don't feel like doing that. It's got to be a way around. We've got a little boat right over here. This is one we've already done. We did a mission at one of these uh, boats. 
So we know what the deal is. Hold up, I want to check out uh, this destroyed bridge. Oh, this is the way over there to get to the river boat. Help wanted. Rebuild the bridge. Well, shit. I guess we got to work for it. Come on, bitch. You saw the ladle and quit? Oh, damn. It took two wallopins. Well, I guess we're going to have to rebuild this bridge. That's the only way we're getting our horse across. Because that motherfucker ain't swimming. Machine gunner book. Automatic weapons do 10% more damage. We got another horseshoe, which is essentially a rad remover. Automatic weapons. Are there even automatic weapons here? I don't know. I mean, I know there's a Gatling gun. Can we find a machine gun in the Old West? I guess we're going to find out. Another beaker. I'll hang on to that. We might want to make two chem stations when we unlock that thing. And some wood. And that's pretty much it. Get out of here, cowboy thick. This ain't to slip it in anymore. Maybe I should change the name. Otherwise, these motherfuckers are going to keep showing up, trying to slip it in, and there ain't nothing here that they can slip it into. It's just me and motherfucker here, and our shits are exit only. Mm, I need pipes and tape. Bam. Water collector. Well, like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to craft a workbench tonight. Let's see what we need. Forged iron, mechanical parts, we need 20. That's going to be the issue. Can we craft mechanical parts? No, we cannot. I mean, I know we, we can't craft them in vanilla. I just thought maybe in this mod you can, but you can't. We got four in here. I don't know how many we have in storage, but it's not that much. Fucking one. <laughs> we got five total. We need 15 mechanical parts before we can craft a workbench. We need to find ourselves a wrench tomorrow. That's like priority number one. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get this loot all organized and figure out what we want to sell because we're going to go see Wrecked in the morning and take a tier one job for him. Explore the desert a little bit. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more and I will catch you in the next episode of New Frontier.